now available in paperback and e-readers. John Haynes, Taking Care of Business. The man who rules the world breaks in a brand new partner to help him take care of business in this action-packed, all-new John Haynes series adventure. Get John Haynes, Taking Care of Business at paperback and e-readers at online booksellers everywhere. It's getting warmer out here, and you're going to see a lot of these black and Hispanic males driving around in these late model cars that cost anywhere from $300 to $2,000 with a $3,000 set of rims and this five dollars to $10,000 stereo system with large subwoofers and giant speakers playing either loud gangster rap or loud Spanish music. And many of the guys who drive around in these boom cars or play stereos super loud in their apartments, they primarily are doing this during the summer because they want to impress some big butt woman who is wearing a $7 sign dress and a pair of flip flops and they think that this is the best way to get her attention. However, if those men did a little bit of critical thinking, they could soon see that these gestures to get her attention are just completely futile and basically make them look like a fool. Now, many of these guys who are playing the booming systems and playing the giant stereos, again, they think they are impressing these females out here, but most of those females wearing the $7 sundress and the flip-flops, they are not impressed by these guys who are going out here driving the late model car with the $3,000 rims and the $15,000 stereo because the most of those women know that this guy is a simp. And the reason why that woman knows that guy is a simp is because he is going to extremes to get her attention. And those extremes that he's going to get her attention show her that this guy has no social skills and most of all, he has no game. Because a guy with game does not need to go out here and make a lot of noise to get the attention of a woman. No, only a simp does this because a simp has no confidence in himself, he has no masculine presence, and he needs attachments to get the attention of a female, and he thinks that these attachments are the thing that are going to get her to get a look at him, but really she's looking at the spectacle he's presenting, and when she looks at that spectacle, she's really not impressed by him. So your simp is out here, he's thinking, oh, I will play this music super loud and it'll get this woman's attention, but oftentimes the only people paying attention to him are female predators who are looking to take advantage of him because they know that this is a weak dude and they know that this is a dude who practically has no life skills and no social skills because any critical thinking man who looks at this dude will say to themselves, this is not a guy who is really understands how to get the attention of women because a guy who understands how to get the attention of women understands he doesn't need to make a lot of noise to get her attention. No, he just needs to just be there and have his masculine presence, his masculine energy, and have the confidence to just be himself. He does not need some gimmick to get a woman's attention, and that's primarily what these boom cars and booming systems are. They are a gimmick that a simp uses because he doesn't, un he doesn't know how to approach women, he doesn't know how to talk to women, and he doesn't have any game when women approach him. So he's thinking that he can play Mr. Big and Bad in the boom car 
But really, most women are laughing at this guy because they know that this guy is someone they just can't take seriously. And the reason why a lot of those women just don't take that guy seriously is because they look at this guy and can see that this man really does not know how to really manage money very well. Because when you have a dude out here who is spending $3,000 on some rims and spending a bunch of $15,000 on a stereo for a $2,000 car at best, what he's doing is showing he's not really fit to be a leader because when women look at a man that they're taking seriously, they look at the way he spends his money and when they see a dude out here spending money on parts for a booming system or a giant stereo in his house, they know that this dude is not very fiscally responsible because here's a guy driving around in a $2,000 car at best and he's got $18,000 worth of stereo and speakers in that car and if he's gone out here and had things like fiberglass done to the dash and to the speakers and the inside, he's got almost $20,000 plus dollars into this vehicle and this vehicle, if it gets totaled, he's not going to get any of that money back because once the insurance company takes a look at that car and sees that it's totaled, they're going to only give you maybe $2,000 or maybe even $500 and that just shows how fiscally irresponsible this simp is and it leaves a really bad impression on the female who looks at him and just sees a, a, a little overgrown child because only a child thinks that spending this type of money this way is some sort of fiscally responsible thing to do. So when a woman looks at these guys on the street in their booming systems or hears these guys playing their stereo super loud in these apartments, she really does not see a man, she just sees an overgrown child. Because what many of these guys who drive the booming systems and play the stereo super loud don't really think about critically is the fact that this black woman or this Hispanic woman is going to work every day. And as she's going to work every day at one of these jobs, she is around these white men. And as she's on this job with this white man who gave her that full-time job where she's working for eight hours, she is primarily seeing a white man who is driving around in a Lexus, a Mercedes, a BMW, a Cadillac that is fully paid for. So how is it that you're going to impress this female by driving around in this late model car that's possibly 15 to 20 years old and it's got this $20,000 stereo in it and these three to four thousand dollar rims on it when she's going to work at one of these jobs with this white man who is driving around in a brand new luxury vehicle and can sign her paycheck that's a critical question i want to ask all of those simps out here who are driving around in the boom cars that only cost maybe two thousand dollars at best or and have again three thousand dollar rims and a twenty thousand dollar stereo in it how are you going to impress that female who works at that job who is walking around in your neighborhood in the seven dollar sundress and the one dollar pair of flip-flops if she's going to a job where she's seeing this white man who is stepping out of a brand new vehicle that cost anywhere from 20 
to eighty thousand and even maybe a hundred thousand dollars how is it you're going to impress her when she sees that white man coming out of a brand new ride and the ride is sparkling and brand new that is something that many of your black males and your hispanic males who go out here and drive the boom cars and play the stereos loud never really think about because they're still stuck in the neighborhood and they have a neighborhood mindset so they're sitting there thinking oh this will get her attention but it will never get her attention because she's already seen a white man who is out here driving a brand new car so she's not impressed by you or any of the noise that you make in fact when she looks at you she sees a nuisance and she does sees a child who is being a nuisance she does not see a man out here taking care of business she sees a child she does not need to take seriously or regard and yes these guys will get a little attention from your chicken heads and your hood rats who are out to get themselves a box of shrimp fried rice and some chicken wings and that'll be about it because these women practically won't see this guy as anybody they need to take seriously because they know that when they go to the job that that white man is the one signing their paycheck they know that that white man is the one giving them a job and they know that that white man is the one who is driving around in the brand new ride so when they look at this black man or this Hispanic man trying to impress them by trying to play the big shot with the booming system they, they don't take that guy seriously and the reason why they don't take him seriously is because they don't see a man they basically see an overgrown teenager and they see an overgrown teenager who is incapable of taking any sort of fiscal responsibility because this is something that only a child would do put three thousand dollar rims on a two thousand dollar car at best and put a twenty thousand dollar stereo system in a car that is basically if it totals out he's practically going to lose all of his money but this flies over the heads of many of these black and hispanic males over the summer because many of those black and hispanic males primarily think with their penis they're caught up in their lust and they're so caught up in their lust all they're thinking about is having a little summer fling with the female in the seven dollar sundress and the one dollar pair of flip-flops all they're thinking about is getting to the thong underneath the, 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 the sundress not understanding that them trying to get to this woman by spending almost thirty thousand dollars the price of a brand new car they're going to wind up losing over two hundred thousand dollars because the only females who in the seven dollar sundresses who are paying them any attention they are looking for a payday at his expense because when they see you driving right by in the booming system they are thinking about getting a boom from the child support system and usually what happens to the dudes who are driving the boom cars making all the noise in the summertime is they wind up crying in the winter time of next year as they are waiting for the bus because they had to sell all of their rims all of their speakers and all of their subs all in order to pay child support and the reason why they are paying child support primarily is because these simps have no game whatsoever and they thought that by using this stereo attachment they would get this woman's attention but the only attention they got from females was primarily from female predators and those female predators took advantage of this fool and after they took advantage of this fool they are the ones laughing at the end of the day in child support court because 
they were looking to go out here in the summertime with the seven dollar sundress to seduce this simp and then after they seduce the simp they then take him down to the child support court and make a complete fool out of him and fleece him out of all of his money so that's the final fate of what happens to the guy who is driving right by in the booming system he winds up becoming a slave to the child support system all because he wants to go out here and impress this female who was never impressed by him at all because she goes to work every day at one of these companies she sees this boss who is making six figures in some cases and she sees that boss dry, going out here dressed up in your Alan Edmund shoes wearing Brooks Brothers suits and this is a guy who during his summertime he does not need a booming system to impress the females no he impresses the females just by having game and that game he has is because he has self-confidence he has a high self-esteem and he has a high self-worth so he does not need to try to impress any female with attachments like the simp does in the case of the booming system and the big stereo no the guy with game goes out here he has the masculine presence he has the confidence and he can just go out here and get the attention of the very same women that this guy is trying to impress so hard and he can get those women with by just showing up in the room and they will just come to him because they see a man standing before him but when they see this other dude with the booming system and the expensive sneakers on thinking that he's going to try to impress he's not impressing anyone out here most of the women when they look at him they see a big kid but most women don't want a child they want a man who's going to show them that how he's going to be a leader how he's going to set a direction and a tone and that's what they're looking for but they don't see it in the neighborhood from the guys who are out here with the old late model cars with the big speakers no that those guys yes they have a lot of flash but they don't have the substance to be able to go out here and build a relationship with and because they don't have the substance that most women are looking for yeah they'll get a lot of attention from female predators in the beginning but what happens is these guys have a tragic end so it doesn't while these guys again they think they're looking fly out here with their big booming cars and their big stereos in their apartment they don't understand that most females see them as clowns and the only females who they get with are these predators who are just looking for somebody to use somebody to be a sperm donor and somebody who will be able to give them a baby come the winter time so that they can go out here and get all of the good government benefits at their expense meanwhile after they after these guys get played they wind up losing everything and many of these guys again don't look at the big picture because if they looked at the big picture they wouldn't even be thinking about spending over twenty three thousand dollars on a booming system and rims and tires no they would be thinking about investing in themselves and working to take themselves to the next level so that they can go out here and get the game so that they can go out here and find a quality woman to deal with and not have to deal with the low-hanging fruit who are attracted to loud noises and shiny objects now if you want to learn how to avoid female predators out here you can pick up my book stop simping why men don't need finance to get romance and if you want to learn more about the dysfunctional behaviors of beta males like this you can also pick up my book the man crisis on amazon.com in paperback and kindle format smashwords the ibook store and google play and if you want to see me make more videos like this you can donate to my patreon my paypal or my cash app by clicking the links in the description box that's all i have to say for this video you can comment rate and subscribe coming to paperback and e-readers this april 
ISIS, Revenge of the Cyber Goddess. The goddess next door must take on the threat of a deadly digital diva driven to destroy the world in this action-packed all-new ISIS series adventure. Get ISIS, Revenge of the Cyber Goddess in paperback and e-readers this April.